hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and today don't mind the crazy hair but we are going to be doing a yellow eyeshadow makeup look this is a very simple beginner makeup look that any beginner who has not done makeup for ages especially if you normally find that blending your eyeshadow is really difficult using just a plain like palette where you have different shades of one color is the perfect thing for you so i've started with skin prepping my skin using the neutrogena hydro boost um yeah i bit aqua gel and that's what i applied all over my face and then i'm going in with a black opal powder foundation in the shade dark so that's what i'm applying all over my face to act as my eyeshadow as my makeup primer and and the, and by spraying my face with a setting spray that makes a really good base uh, because it fixes the foundation and then now we are going to um start off again afresh with our eyebrows and as you can see the eyebrows are looking they were looking sparse but now they look bushy and what I've done is that I've just gone in with a brown pencil and filled in the, the eyebrows to look bushy. And then I'm, what I'm doing right now is that I'm using an eyebrow wax uh, by Pastel to just seal in the eyebrows so that they don't slide off or come off or rub off. And then now we, what I'm doing now is that I'm taking a little bit of concealer. And this concealer is about two shades lighter than my normal skin tone. And this is the LA Gal Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. So I've applied it all over my eyebrows just to make sure that my eyebrows are popping in the middle of those two bright concealers that I've applied above and below my eyebrows. So the purpose of this is just to make your eyebrows pop. And the excess concealer, I applied it on my eyelids just to to act as an eyeshadow primer so the the, the uh, concealer i use the same concealer that to define my eyebrows and also to act as an eyeshadow primer for my eyeshadow and then now i'm color correcting the spots on my skin because we are human all human beings have spots on their skins nobody's skin is perfect and we are perfect we need some people even highlight their spots but in this case, we are concealing them. <laughs> yeah, so I've just taken an orange color corrector. Now, an orange color corrector is usually uh, used to correct dark spots on the skin, especially in dark-skinned people. So that is what I'm doing. And I also use the illegal orange color corrector for this step. After you're satisfied with the blend, it's time for foundation. And I've mixed two foundations. I've used the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. And I'm also using the Anix foundation. And uh, I'll write the numbers somewhere of those, uh, the, the exact shades that I mix together. Now, I've never had the found the perfect shade for my skin tone because my face usually gets sunburnt or rather not sunburnt. Sunburnt is a wrong word. I'm not sunburnt, tan. It normally tans. Um, so... And I tend to work in the sun a lot. So because it's I tan, my neck is usually a bit different, slightly lighter than my face. So I tend to want to match my foundation shade to my neck so that I don't look ridiculous. And then now it's time for concealer again to highlight the under eyes and to make sure that you don't have any dark circles, dark spots, eye bags you know and i've also highlighted the areas also like the corner of my mouth just to make sure that you know those the indentations are not so deep you know to look like an old lady there's nothing wrong with being old let's not be just on this channel yeah but i am choosing to hide the edge so by <laughs> By applying all the concealer in the areas that you saw me apply and also on the bridge of my nose just to highlight the area. And I'm using a damp, I used a flat brush first and then I'm using a damp beauty blender for this next step. Yeah, so make sure that you blend, blend until you're satisfied with the results. And then now I was not satisfied with that concealer. I want very bright under eyes. So I've gone in with this Maybelline Superstay Concealer once more. 
and this one I'm just applying to the inner corners of my eyes as you can see like along my nose and then I'm also going to contour my nose and I'm not going to do like a full nose contour I'm just going to apply this contour shade along the along the the nose the areas that you've seen me applying the contour shade so I'm just going to blend again that concealer with a brush a flat brush and then I go in again with the damp beauty blender and then now I've just taken this smaller brush and I'm going to blend out that contour shade that I applied all along the nose I'm going to like drag it all along the nose don't drag so much otherwise you will lift the concealer and the makeup in general and then now we are going to set our concealer the areas that we set and I'm using a black opal setting powder to set that area and now this is the main thing uh, for this eyeshadow a very simple eyeshadow look so I've just gone in with like an orange shade in the crease of my eye and then I'm going to go in with this yellow shade that I'm going to apply all over my eyelid and then after applying it all over my eyelid we're going to blend the two shades the orange and the reason I used orange was because orange is closer to my skin tone uh, than uh, than most colors <laughs> you can use dark brown you can use you know shades that are almost your skin tone I just want the color to look a bit mm, how can I put it monochromatic if you will and then in the inner corner of my eye what you're seeing me dabbing there is a really light shade of yellow that is a very very light shade of yellow almost white and that is what I'm going to just dab in the inner corner of my eye and then afterwards I will blend all the colors together then after I do, you are done with the eyes uh, you also have to note that I did use black eyeliner to apply on my waterline now we are doing lips so I've just lined my lips with a brown lip pencil and I've put it on thick and then now I'm going to use this um, uh, Maybelline lipstick this is their vinyl gloss and they are not vinyl glosses as such they are vinyl inks Maybelline vinyl inks and this is the shade red hot uh, you have to shake it fast before you apply it and what it does is that it makes you you know you don't have to use a lip what is it called a lip gloss over your lipstick and it's like um it's a glossy lipstick let me just put it that way it's like uh, the finish is gloss but you can't really tell that the finish is gloss well how it feels on your lips so it's a really nice lipstick I love it and uh, then what we are going to do next uh, is that I'm just applying I applied concealer all around my lips and then I blended it out so we are going to now remove the excess setting powder you remember the setting powder that I used to apply under my eyes we've removed that and we've also applied blush on our cheeks so that is what I've done and then I'm just highlighting my nose with a highlighter and then I believe we are done <laughs> 